Hey, what's up, y'all? Welcome to a something a little bit different for this uh, for this game day with heavy cardboard. Uh, I'm your host, Edward Euler, and today we are, as I said, we are going to be doing something a little bit different. So today we are going to be putting together a model, a U Gears card holder model. I feel like I should give a little bit of background though with this. Uh, before we get started, but first things first, welcome everybody watching live around the world as well as after the fact. Hopefully uh, you guys are having a good Tuesday. Uh, and before we get started, a big thank you to all of our 793 patrons who help make all of this possible and who indulge little experiments like this. So thank you to all of them. And thank you to everybody watching, as I said, live around the world as well as after the fact. Now, U Gears did provide us with this card holder, but it was kind of by my doing. So here's how this came about. While we were walking around Spiel uh, a couple weeks ago, came upon a booth in Hall 5 that had these amazing models. They're, uh, think, if you're familiar with any kind of board game insert type models, things like that, these are going to be similar that they look like kind of inserts. However, or made of the same material, the same type of wood, intricately cut out in the whole nine yards, except these all move. <laughs> and I saw a locomotive one and thought it was absolutely amazing. So I talked to the gentleman who was there at the booth who took us over to Hall 6 to a different booth to talk to somebody else, and they thought this was a fun idea. I thought it'd be a cool idea. Something a little bit different to try and see whether or not it's something that you guys would enjoy uh, hanging out, and maybe, if you guys like putting together models, I like putting together models, I thought maybe this would be uh, something as a, instead of taking a day off, I thought I would try something like this. So long story long, um, we, we're going to start out with the cold card holder here, which board game adjacent kind of makes sense, right? Because we all play board games that have some amount of cards in them, some more than others. And yeah, so we're going to get started with that. So thanks for hanging out with me today. Will this go well? I hope so. <laughs> I hope I don't screw it up. So uh, with that said, um, if you guys are ready... Dimitri from U Gears is actually in chat with us today. So if you guys have any questions specific to, well, anything other than putting together this model, um, direct your questions to him. Plus, uh, some folks in Slack had mentioned, you know what, doing this uh, soon after Spiel might be a good idea. That way, if folks see these and they want to order them as gifts for Christmas or maybe Secret Elephant, Secret Santa gifts for uh, their heavy cardboard targets, might not be a bad idea. So that, without further ado, if you guys are ready, I am as ready as I'm going to be to put together the U-Gears card holder. So as you can see here, um, I have a number of uh, things here to help me possibly put this together. So we have some, uh, some wire cutters from back when I was in aviation, but they're super sharp, so I thought that might help. We have a little razor blade here. We have a pencil which is going to come in handy when we get to the candle. Yes, I said candle. I have a little hobby hammer here as well. And then uh, a candle. The reason there is a candle over here is because of the fact that uh, you, some of these parts move. And so having a candle, the wax on it. So I thought having the pencil to apply said wax might make sense. So we'll see how it goes. <laughs> now, uh, full disclosure, the, the instructions are online on this, so I did want to keep this sealed so that literally we start this out fresh and start this out brand new together. I've never put one of these together, um, so it'll be a learning experience. Plus, this way it gives you guys a true, uh, a true feel for what it's going to be like putting these together uh, for yourself for the first time. So I thought that was... But that would be fair. But I did want to know some things that I might need, hence why I have the wax and all of that stuff. So I did look up some of the instructions online. So there we go. Um, yeah, this should be fun. I hope. So hopefully you guys enjoy it. So without further ado, let's get into this. Let's get started. And I did cut that open to make it a little bit easier. There we go. All 
All right, so we'll move all this stuff off. We'll pull it onto the camera. And I do have the other camera for anything zoomed in. I can move in the camera if need be, the whole nine yards on all of this, all right? So the fact that there's as many of y'all as there are is encouraging, so hopefully, uh, yeah, like I said, hopefully y'all are excited. So natural wood, uh, no glue needed, and self-assembly. Okay, um, if you wanna watch a video on how to do it, apparently there's that on the back side. There we go. So as you can see, this is what it, well, technically, this is what it will be all closed up right here. And then it kind of opens up into a card holder like there. And then some of the other board game adjacent stuff that they have here. There are a ton of moving models as well. Like I said, there's a couple of locomotives, there's cars, there's airplanes, there's all kinds of stuff in all of a move, which is amazing to me. So, all right. So let's dig into it, shall we? And if you guys have questions, either for myself or for uh, Dimitri over at U-Gears, um, feel free to chime in. So here we go. Let's see. Oh, rubber bands on how it's going to move. I was wondering if these were going to be included because it didn't say that I needed anything else. So that's good. Uh, we have thicker rubber bands here. So we'll just keep those just off camera and kind of over here by me. Um, oh, oh, that's funny. You know what? I think that's wax. Hmm. Well, I guess I didn't need uh, to go shopping for a, a tea light, but it is what it is. So there we go. All right. <laughs> so you guys think the uh, I will be defeated, huh? I, I would say I appreciate it, but that's not entirely true. Oh. You know, there was one thing that I was really um, irritated at myself for having not thought of, and that was sandpaper. Here's a piece of sandpaper, so yay on that. Okay, a universal game counter. So, all right, assemble me, count with me, cool. Wow, all right, we already have enough to put together, so this will be for another time. All right, and that's it. So that tells me, yep, there we go. The instructions are there, so we'll move the box. Anything we need to raise a blade, we'll raise a blade on top of the box. So there we go. <laughs> Yarun does tend to uh, pick me, and uh, when Jess is on stream, that tends to go poorly, so I apologize. So here we go. It's all shrink-wrapped. As I said, I could have um, done all of this and had it all laid out and you know, all this, but I thought I wanted to make a true representation of what it's like to put this together. Definitely going to need to vacuum up the table when all this is said and done. All right, all right, there you go. So, Dimitri says everything you need is inside the box except for an X-Acto knife, or in my case, a cheap X-Acto knife and cutters. So, that's awesome. Um, I'm really, really glad to see that they included the sandpaper and the wax. Uh, I. So, yeah, there you go. Oh, yeah, they have a board game coming out, by the way, that we saw uh, briefly, um, Talos, uh, Talos, Talos Collapse. So check that out. Here we go. Thank you for choosing UCARE Mechanical Devices for Tabletop Games. We value your trust and believe that with UGear's smart gaming devices, you will find exactly what you were looking for and maybe a bit extra. The models of UGear's games collection are created especially for board game lovers to improve gaming experience and make your adventures ever more exciting. Original designs, outstanding mechanics, coupled with a practical utilitarian approach, ensure your new game uh, accessory sorry, will become your indispensable companion in any game universe you're likely to venture. Accommodate game cards and save space. Uh, Carry or store your favorite deck with the deck box, right? And so there are a whole bunch of other things. During assembly, you will work with a natural material that is nice to the touch. High quality plywood is sufficiently durable, although sometimes you may need a few spare parts. We completed each kit uh, with spare parts, but just in case you need extra ones, please feel free to contact us and they give an email. We would ask that you provide us your postal address, list of required parts, and the photos of the corresponding board or detail. UGEAR's team will send the requested spare parts to the address provided in your email free of charge in an envelope by post so you can complete your device. Devotedly yours, UGEAR's 
team. All right, cool, good deal. So, Dimitri, you can probably answer this. Uh, where did you guys, uh, where did you guys originally start from? What country? Um, <clears throat> so it says uh, it has a bunch of different uh, languages, but it says assembly instructions here. Remove model parts from the hanger board as illustrated. Careful not to break parts. Um, use an X-Acto knife if it does, doesn't come out easily. Models intended for self-assembly without glue. If you have difficulty installing the axles, try waxing them with a regular candle. Hence, see, see, that's why I went ahead and picked up a candle. All moving parts uh, can also be waxed during assembly to reduce friction when operating the model. However, I did not need to because wax. There we go. Then it gives a bunch of the different little symbols that we're going to see throughout assembly here. So for instance, wax this part with regular candle, uh, rub it with a candle. So there we go, hence why the pencil and candle. Um, pay attention, uh, check for correct orientation or positioning for this one. Here is check the mechanism for smooth and correct movement. Operate the mechanism to seat the parts in their positions. And then do not fully press the outer parts, the structural frame together, checking for fit and alignment of internal parts. Okay. Perform the same steps in mirror image. Okay. And then sand to remove any burrs and break off or cut out whenever you see the X-Acto knife one there. And you see the little tea candle that the guy's holding right here? Hence why I got a tea candle. All right. <laughs> uh, spare parts. Um, so anytime it has this little symbol right here, this little ad here, and you know what? We'll go ahead and bring that in so you, again, I mean, what's the point if you guys aren't included here, right? So there you go. That ad with the plus means uh, those are spare parts. And then down below that, it says it's not a structural component. It's a tool for measurement and assembly. Interesting. There we go. And you can see it right down there. All right. So, I have no idea what these were created with, Luke. I couldn't tell you. Oh, two axis laser cutters with tremendous amount of engineering time. All right, well, there you go. So, all right. So, I will bring the rule book or the, uh, the rule book, the instructions back up as we go. So, there are, there's sheet one. Sheet two, okay. Sheet three, those are some small parts. And sheet four, okay. So let's put them back in the order they were. I'm going to be extraordinarily anal about this. All right, here we go. We, oh, well, I guess I didn't need to do that because. Here we go. Wow, that's really bright. Let me, because uh, the white, yeah, let me try and fix that. There. That's a little bit better, I think. What do y'all, yeah, I think so. Okay, so we need the sheet as shown here. Uh, it says sheet number one. Looking for a sheet number. Aha, there it is. Okay, so, and I'll zoom in for this. Right here, sheet number one. So there we go. And all the pieces are numbered as well as you can see kind of up through here. So that said, let's go ahead and Let's focus on this part. So this shows number one, or the first step, I should say. Uh, it's piece number one, piece number two. All right, and it does show waxing. So piece number one. Oh, wow, that came out really easy. Let's, uh, that was an accident. That's good. I, I much prefer that than the alternative. Oh, here, I don't know if you guys can hear that sound really well, but that crunching it's the wood breaking off here but in a good way but it makes me nervous okay so we have piece number one and piece number two so we have two right here 
So I'm kind of supporting it in the back of it while I push out from the front. So there we go. Let's move those back. Keep that out of the way. Okay. So from the looks of it, it looks mirrored, so I don't think it really matters. The orientation on this one? Uh, yeah, all right. So it does have this piece up, so it'd be like that, but we need to wax back up through there, not to where this goes in. So um, it only shows the first part here, then that, then this here, okay? So, here we go. See how well these fit. I assume it's going to be pretty well fitting. I'm really hoping these go relatively smoothly. Because this is going to make for a very long stream if it does not. Oh, there we go. Requires a little bit of force, but as you can see, it went in pretty easily right there. Um, let me ask you guys also, um, with the rules there, should I like move it off, I guess, so you guys can see that better? And push that down. Good. Done. Okay. So you got um, the table's going to get kind of messy with the uh, the wood splinter type stuff. All right. Take care, urine. Have fun. Oh, awesome. Good deal. All right. Um, all right. So then we're looking at piece number three. Piece number three is oops, right here, the top one here. So try and pop out three and not 18. Again, bracing it from the back when I push it out here. Keeping those in the same order where they fell out. But that's a good sign that they're falling out that easy, right? Means that they're, uh, they're cut through. Don't have to really worry about them breaking as bad as I was concerned about. But man, these big pieces like this make me nervous. You know what? I think it's pretty obvious what uh, piece 12 is, so I'm actually going to pop this one out a little bit. There we go. Just because it keeps getting in my way. So there we go. Now we can kind of work it this way. There we go. Yeah, much easier that way. So there we go. There's piece number three. So looking at this, it has... It looks, no, is it uniform? I'm trying to look at the different pieces. It looks pretty uniform, so there we go. Now, going back to that instruction right there, the green one there says, do not fully press the outer part uh, together until checking, checking for fit and alignment of the internal parts. All right. So this, it looks like it goes on to that like this. This will kind of come on like so, but we need to wax that first. So let's see. Oh, okay. Wow, that went on really well. And it moves pretty smoothly, but you know what? No harm in waxing that up. So. Yep, just storage for cards, um, but also a uh, display for your cards, Joseph. Yep. <clears throat> All right, so we have, uh, we have the candle wax. So I'm going to use a pencil. There we go. Get some of the wax off and put it inside... would rather put too much in and then when it comes together it'll push out any excess. There we go. So then, oh wow that went on smooth like butter. So there we go. Alright, so that'll go on really really easy but then it shows step three. So it doesn't, it says don't put it, um, just test it for fit first, then put this on first, then clamp that down on there. Okay, so I'm one of those that uh, tends to read ahead a little bit, so it gives me a pretty good feel on what it is I'm trying to do. 
So I wonder if you guys are as well. And that actually moves really smoothly. But again, going to get a little bit of wax on this as well. Yep, wax on, wax off. I feel like I should be wearing one of those little uh, like visors and a hat or, you know, uh, or a light. I mean, you know, with the little visor, you know what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah. Super smooth now. OK, so. We put this on. Here. Like so then this is going to be a little bit trickier here get got to get the both the round pieces on to there Let's see come on come on but also hoo -hoo -hoo. you know what actually what i'm going to do is i'm going to start this putting this on but not there you go there's still a pretty big gap right here, you guys can see, so that hopefully we can do like so, get it in there on both sides. There we go. Boom. And, oh, oh, that gives a satisfying little snap. I don't know if you guys heard that, but now it is completely seated. There you go. And there's no way, there's very little wiggle on that now. There we go. Awesome. Woohoo! We are off and running, y'all, with a lot of wax. Let's, uh. Eh, we need to vacuum anyways. All right. So now. So, wait, what? Okay, so I saw this step when I was looking at the rules. Yeah, jeweler's visor. There you go. That's it. So, I, and I'm I'm still a little bit confused at this one. So we need the uh, we need the measuring tool first off. So I need to find said measuring tool that was on one of these. Hold on, let me look. Uh, oh, there it is. Pop that out. That came out real easy. So we have. The measuring tool, right? So it has me cutting one of the rubber bands to the length of that. And the reason for that is because over here, so we put it around the outside of this like there, and then fold the two ends in, and then piece this in and squeeze it together in like that. And we have to do that twice, it looks like. Yep because over here it shows two of those. Okay, that makes me a little nervous, I'm not gonna lie, but okay. Are we in agreement that we're gonna cut this rubber band to that length twice? While you guys are, you know, confirming what I'm seeing here, right? I mean, it is a build with me, not watch me build. Um, there we go. So we're going to go ahead and bust out pieces number four and five from the other board. Or no, I'm sorry, the same one. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh good Lord, those are small. Okay. Four are these guys. Those are the spare ones, as you can see from the add, oops, sorry, the add plus. Those are spares in case, and then the fives. So it looks like we need two of the fives. To squeeze in there. Wow, this is going to be tricky. Okay. All right. Yep. Okay. Dimitri, and it says cut it, so it just makes me nervous. <laughs> ah. There we go. All right. So the two fours just popped out. And now we're going to do the four fives. Come on. There we go. There's one of them. So something I want to show you guys, it has these little tiny little tabs 
here, I'll keep my finger behind it, right there. So it felt like, oh no, a piece of it's breaking off. No, no, they're, they're supposed to be there. You can see those two little pointy pieces on that. Made me nervous. Okay. So just using my fingertip, basically, and poking it out here. Yeah, I guess so. To give it a little bit of cushion or friction or something like that, Richard, it looks like. So hopefully we don't need those. So let's set that aside. Okay, now before we do anything here, I want to take this and I want to just see how that goes in. I'm not going to force it in yet because it does seem just like everything else so far. Pretty, pretty, pretty solid fit. Oh, it's, 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 oh boy. Woo. Here we go. Okay. So it will go in and can, can you guys see this? Oh, uh, you know what? Let me try it over here. It's going to be a bit of a mess, but here. I will get it. Yeah. Yeah. You see the two little gaps on either side right there? So that's where the rubber band is going to get uh, smushed into. And yes, I think that's a technical term, smushed into. So that fits, that works, so here we go. So um, this is where, oh, I should have gotten scissors in hindsight instead of a razor blade. Looking around and see if I have any scissors in here, I don't. So we use the, uh, the wire cutters. They are super sharp, we'll cut it straight that way. Hopefully this works. They're used to cutting wires, not rubber bands. All right, there we go. So now, according to this, oop, you guys can't see that. There we go. According to this, it's per the smaller side. Should be right there, even with the end. Not stretched, just normal. Oops. All right. So let's see. Should be pretty close. Yeah, we can smooth that out on the end, but other than that, we got it. There we go. I'm happy with that. All right. So now that we got that, what you making, Richard? Okay, so we, uh, you know what? Why don't we, uh, why don't we cut the second one as well? So, you know what? This one I'm just going to mark kind of with a fingertip. There we go. This will be a little bit easier, I think. And probably a little bit straighter as well. There we go. Little long, so we'll trim a little bit off as you guys can see there. So we'll trim just a hair off of that. Millimeter or two. That'll work. All right, so we have our two pieces now of rubber band or cushion, if you will. Oops, all right. So, we know what the instructions are now, right? We, we know what the steps are that I'm going to try and do. So I need to bring it around the outside, tuck the ends in, and then push that piece in. Okay. Around the outside, around the outside, around the outside. So like so. And tuck the, oh, oh, good Lord. Really? They make this sound so easy. All right, so if somebody has a suggestion on how to do this easily, I am all for it here. Oh. Hmm. Trying to figure out a way to... Nah...
I guess I could just stretch it. I mean, it is a rubber band after all, right? The key is it's got to get lined up right in the center. All right, I'm going to have to not stretch my hands for this part. I apologize, y'all. This might be the hardest part of the entire build is doing these. You know what? I just got to get it over the lip and then take one of these to push it in. Come on. Nope, that didn't work. Okay, we'll try the... Okay, it's about centered. Stretch. Stretch. Pin. Ha ha! Success! There we go. Who, who was that? Matt, good call. All right, so what do we do? Oh, we push it until it's all the way in there flat. Good call, Matt. Yep, there we go. And again, that is a really snug, but like satisfyingly snug fit. So you can see it sticks out. Yeah, we'll do it again over here. You can see it sticks out of the back end a little bit. There you go, you can kind of see it. So, yeah, good call. All right, that wasn't as bad as it was, I thought, going to be. So we have two of those. So we have done. All right, cool. All right. Just got to stretch it a little, so. And I was, I was warned that my thumbs and fingertips would probably be pretty sore after this. So far, I could see that happening. <laughs> uh, okay, stretched. Stretched. Pin. Oh, no, come on. Get that in there. Get that in there. Come on. No, no, no. And it's got to go in about even. There we go. Yep, got that one too. Excellent call, Matt. Well done, peanut gallery. Oh, that was, that was way easier than I thought it was going to be. Boom! Didn't need spares. Mm, success. Take that, U-Gears model. For those that voted that the U-Gears model would win. <laughs> All right, so we got two. Cool, so now we need to punch out pieces number six, which pieces number six are the ones that were right next to four right here. Okay, so we'll pop those out. And boom, easy like that. Take those apart, easy enough. All right, so looking at this. Ah, okay, so those, wait a minute, what? Oh, and seven. I missed seven of them over here. So it's kind of a, all right. Quantum Jack, I appreciate that. That was funny. So number sevens are these guys. So we'll pop those out as well. Again, bracing it from the back just to make sure that it doesn't, uh, nothing gets squirrely and splinters and breaks. So there we go. So now we need to break this guy back out. So looking like this, we have the slots on either side there and there for the pieces to go in and the rubber band piece. So this one goes facing up. So wow, that went in. It, it goes in really easy, but look at that. It's, it's solid, it's firm in there. So that's cool. Then this one with the rubber band or the, the bumper part where we pushed it in coming in this way. So that goes there. Same thing with that one. Saw how easy it went in, but that works. So then this next one with the little tab piece up. I'm 
I'm left-handed, so it's a little bit harder for me to do the right hand. And then, again, with the, uh, the tab that is holding the rubber band going away from me. Wow, this is really well uh, cut. There we go. So now, it does show also because moving piece, right? So we're going to wax both of those. But before we do that, oh, you know what? Should have put those on first. I see that now. I think, let's see, can we do it this way? Oh, yeah. We can do it up above, kind of, or down below. Durr. Just to get that. And, yeah. It moves actually really easy. I probably don't need the wax, but we're gonna anyway. Same with this one, moves really easily. Okay, so now, or you know what? How about this? Instead of me waxing the inner part, why not wax this? This piece here, and this way I don't need to waste it on the pencil, right? A little slow on the uptake sometimes, but I'll get there. All right, so they're waxed up. We will put this on like so. Oh, wow, that fits really well. Like, that just feels good. And then, as it shows here, kind of wide. So we'll start with that one on. Hmm. This makes me a little bit more nervous. Just because the angle that that's in. And these fit. So, oh, there we go. So that went on. And come on. Gentle. There we go. got some creaking there, um, but it moves really well. Oh no, did I? I did that upside down, didn't I? That's why, um, oh wait a minute. You know what? <sighs> no one caught it. Can you guys see this? See that angle? The two inner ones here are upside down. They should be with the hinges up. So this one's correct, but that's got to come off. we got to disassemble. Sorry, Johnny Five. There is going to be some disassemble. There we go. No disassemble. Oh, God, that makes me nervous now that I've pressed it. Hold on. Come on. Please. Oh, okay. It released some of the tension. There we go. So now that that's done, we don't have to completely take it apart. So this part, facing up like so, the hinges should face up, Edward. Follow the instructions. They're there for a reason. Heavens to Murgatroyd. Exit stage right even. There we go. Hey, that's all right. It's okay, it's okay, oh wow. That moves like butter now. Whew. All right, but that means this piece is upside down now. So hopefully a non-issue. It is a non-issue. That slides in. Good. All right. <sighs> Which now means this piece needs to come up. Hey. <laughs> Dimitri, hard to see in the... Uh-huh. That's the likely excuse. All right. So we'll put this in. Hinge up. Now, yeah, you don't have to be nearly as delicate as I was scared you had to be. Not at all. There you go. So now you can see, there we go. We have all the hinges, all three of them so far facing up. We have everything good there. There we go. All right. Yeah, I thought you really had to be re way more delicate with this than, now I'm not, you know, throwing it off a cliff type rough, but... At the same time, it's not nearly as 
flim, not flimsy seems like uh, like a negative connotation, but I, I would just worry because it's delicate wood, right? And it's, you know, but it's plywood. I mean, look at this. There you go. Boom. Done. Here we go. And voila. Just like so, we now have that part done. Yay, success. First two pages done. So, we don't need those yet. We may need them here in a little bit, though. Okay? Whew. All right. And no, you gears is not winning. Thank you. So far, so far. Ooh. Oh, wow. Now we have to tie in two knots. Oh, God. So we have this. I legitimately don't know how to tie this knot. I'm trying to look at it. <laughs> oh boy, this is going to be embarrassing. How many pages are there? Oh, like we're, we're most of the way done. Of assembly, 13. We're through five. So we're good, but we're going to be stuck here for a minute. I legitimately don't know. I take care, Vincent. Sure, it shows that part of it, but then from this to this. Like, I know how to do... Oh, boy. Watch Edward struggle to tie a damn knot. Yes, I'm going to break down because I don't want to take forever trying to em embarrass myself more. Yeah, exactly, I wasn't Coast Guard, right? I'm a Marine, damn it. Oh, you know what? I was going to do something. I was going to try something a little bit different, too. There we go. Got some background music, some royalty-free music, and um, Yup, I'm Googling how to tie a damn knot. What? Okay, that is not what I'm looking for. Although I think I may have figured, I, 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 I may. There it is, I think. Oh God. Let's see what we got here, let's see. I'm going to do this off camera so I embarrass myself as little as possible. Don't treat it like a string. Gee, that doesn't help. All right, so here we go. Look, I got that part of it. But after this, like, I literally have no clue how to do this. I feel like the world's biggest idiot right now. I have no idea.
You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to look ahead and see how many of these we got to do. Oh God, I got to do more. So I better figure this out. <laughs> so there, there, there was uh, yeah, I, I, that's actually what I'm considering doing is cutting it first, but I wanted to see if I had any extras to where in case I screw this up. Um, I think the music's making it worse. Just do an overhand. Oh, okay, let's, all right, Sam, we'll try that, let's see. Okay, might not be a perfect one here, okay? But I don't want to like tighten this down until I get that. Cool. Actually, the whole knot, uh, balloon knot tying part actually helped, so thank you, Tim. So we want the knot right about at the end of this. No, it's too far. I don't know how I ended up with three loops out of this. Hold on, let me try it again. I will try that here in a moment. This is, this is comically bad. There, so you guys can see while I'm trying to un, there we go. Oh. You know what? I would like to say I know what I just did But I don't, but I got it. I think. And it doesn't look quite right. A moment. I'm sweating an embarrassingly amount a uh, large amount for not being able to, yeah, that is way too big. So hold on. I've got two, and this is another. Oh, and the pencil's not sharp enough. Well, if you laugh at yourself, other people can't, I suppose. I would not have made a good sailor, apparently. Marine, yes. Sailor? No. All right. Cross the two ends. Bring one end that's in here. So we have that. I know, right? Oh, Dylan, it's a uh, watch heavy cardboard uh, tie and knot. Uh, yeah. So, okay. Let's do it this way. Oh, wait a minute. Am I really overthinking this that much? I'm an idiot. Got it. Yep. In fourth grade, it was the end of school one day, 
and was getting ready to get on the bus to go home. And my shoe was untied. And I had completely and totally forgotten how to tie my shoe. Like I'm looking at my shoelaces going, okay, been doing this my whole life. Granted, at four, four, sixth or fourth grade, that's what I'm eight, nine years old, whatever that is. And uh, yeah, totally brain farted, which I just did. I, I, I have thought myself out of the paper bag. We are good. Now it's just a matter of getting the size right. That's embarrassing. Because you want the loop right towards the, or the, there you go. It's in the right spot now. There we go. Hey. Oh, you guys can't see that. There we go. I'm just going to tighten that knot up. There. That's pretty close to perfect right there. Ay vey. Come on. That shouldn't have been this hard, Edward. So I got to do that twice, don't I? So you know what? Before I cut this thing, I think I'm going to do the exact same thing on the other end and then just waste the stuff in the middle. Oh, my God. Oh, that was embarrassing. Just loop it around your damn finger and tie a damn knot. Just like a, a balloon, as someone had said earlier. Oof. I can't wait till uh, Adam timestamps this. This will be funny to see what he puts for this. Adam, don't you dare. <laughs> Edward struggles tying a knot. There we go. That's close. It's not perfect, but there you go. Now we have the two ends that we can cut. Hey. There's one. <laughs> I can see Dimitri's email to the rest of the team after this. Well, the stream went really, really well. But God, this guy's an idiot when it comes to tying knots. Oh, boy. All right. You're right. Seriously, Matt. All right. Hey, so we have those two. Good God. That's embarrassing. Okay. So what do we got? We got... Okay. So we have to do that, which um, this part should, in theory, be easy. So we have the knot part. I don't think that really matters, but over that. And then, oh, maybe it'd be easier doing the sideways one first. Come on, there we go. Uh, won't hold. Come on. There. And do the same on the other side. Oh, you guys can't. Sorry. The struggle is real. I'm just embarrassed about the whole knot tying thing, so let's not talk about it. Hmm? Although I have a feeling that's going to live far longer than I want it to. So that's good there, but... Oh. Oh! Like so, okay. I'm not putting enough tension on them. Okay. There we go. Now 
There. And I got a check mark. That's done. Holy good God. Done. Looks just like the picture. All right. I'll set that piece aside for now. We're on to page seven. Well, let's hope for God's sake there's far less uh, tying or brain farts like that. You guys are brutal. I mean, don't get me wrong. I deserve it to a point, but damn. All right. So now we need, what piece number is that? That looks like number eight. That is not eight. This is. Okay. So number eight right here, the big wavy part. Looks like with, uh, with the, yeah. Okay. So all that seems to be pretty much punched. So let's start on the delicate. We'll start on the corner right here. Work our way down the edge. Again, bracing it in the back. And I do this. Around all the tabs so that that comes out smoothly. And it did. Okay. So it looks like eight is like this. Ah. These three tabs slide into with the rubber bands down, which they are on the bottom. So then Okay. So this should go in just like so. Something along the lines of that. Okay. Okay, we'll do like we did those and start at one end there. And in theory, it should line up pretty close. There we go. You hear that little creaking, which makes me nervous, but every time, but no, it's, it's totally fine. So there we go. But let's push it all the way in, get it seated. There we go. Gives kind of a satisfying little snap when it seats fully. There we go. And there's no gap now. You guys can see there's no gap between here and there. So there we go. Okay. So there's that. Now number nine, which that was not that. Let's put these back over onto that. Looking for, it's number one, that's 10 and 20. Oh, number nine, okay, sorry. Looking on the wrong one. I'm looking ahead at number 10. I apologize. Accidentally. So, so this is, there's number nine here. So number nine is going to be those two, but there are two number nines. Okay, we'll just take out one for now. By the way, can you guys hear the music? I'm curious, or is it just for my listening pleasure? Here we go. Yeah, well, once, you know, the host isn't an idiot on how to tie a damn knot, it's probably a non-issue. <clears throat> All right, so this will go like that. Oh, bring that over. Here we go. You know what? We're going to zoom out just a hair so I don't keep cutting you guys off. There we go. So both of these should be facing this way on this guy like that. 
So both of those should go into those slots right there, like so. But because this is not flat because of this piece down here, I don't want to I don't want to press that into the table. So There we go. There and there. Oh, yeah, oh, I you had to have heard that snap. That was a that was a satisfying little pop. Just some, just some jazz. I'll turn it up a little bit. It's royalty-free music, so I figured we could get away with it. I just don't want it too loud to where it's distracting me either, right? There we go. That better? If you guys don't like it, I just figure, since it's just me and y'all, I figured that would be a uh, something, again, since we're doing stuff a little bit different today. There we go. There. Boom. Step done, right? So you guys can see there. Fits snugly right there. Okay. I'm not afeard anymore of rubber bands. I've conquered that. <laughs> Ish. Okay. <clears throat> so we need the other. You know what? We'll use the already cut one that we have remnants of. We need our handy dandy little uh, piece here. And notice we need the longer side here now. Yeah, let me smooth this end out. There we go. And now it's at an angle. Shoot. That's better. Is it perfect? No, but I don't think it really needs to be perfect. Attention detail, yeah, yeah, I know. So we'll mark that right there, the fingertip. Ah, thumb! No, I'm just kidding. A little long. Okay. Bob Ross, but with, now with more knots. You guys are monsters. I love you, don't get me wrong, but you're monsters. Funny, because I would be thinking the same if I weren't sitting here stressing so bad about my struggle. Alright, there we go. So there's one, and we need two of those. So There. And it's just relaxing jazz. There we go. That'll work. So we got two of those bad boys. Okay. A measuring tool. Pretty clever. All right, we have an exclamation point. You guys see that over here? So let's, uh, let's go back to what that was. Exclamation point is pay attention. Check for correct orientation and positioning. Notice the little... That's from the pieces that punched out earlier. So there's 10. Okay. So it looks like, as I'm looking at this. Okay. So we have the little hole right here that it's pointing at right there. Okay. So we have the correct orientation. So we need to put a rubber band through that hole and around the bottom right here. So through this hole and around the bottom, okay. And then, oh hey, there's our friend number five. Okay. All right, easy enough. We're familiar with this, we've done this, we can conquer this, we know how to do this. Okay. Sorry. All right. So we have the hole that way. So we need the rubber band to come in through this way. 
All right, Dimitri, thanks for hanging out. All right. Yep, the things I do, Matt, the things I do. Well, this is a pretty snug fit in through there, so you'll notice that it's, it's staying pretty well. So what I wanna see is how far, it's just enough to hold it in place, it looks like. Okay, all right. So trying to see there, that works and that works. So we'll hold that, pin it like so, tab up, and then we get our friend number five. <clears throat> ah, I missed. go. So we'll have to do this twice, but let's see. Okay. So we have that. We have the orientation, right? And then we have to mirror it on the other side, do the exact same thing. So that one's done. So we'll put that kind of right there as a reminder. Okay. Oh, yeah, I guess I could use the first one as a guide. Hmm, who would have thunk it? <clears throat> All right. Uh, okay, so this, this one here is a little bit... A little bit nerve-wracking. Just a little bit, okay? And let me... Let me show you guys why I'm a little bit nervous about this real quick is let me double check the numbers here. Okay. That's getting too loud. I'm going to turn that down. There, that's better. All right. Hey Chad. Okay. So here is A little bit of apprehension I have right now. And of course, Dimitri's now gone, but that's all right. We'll figure this out. So we have number 10 here, you'll notice, right? And it says we need to cut two of the rubber bands, which we have a second rubber band right there. So we're good. So we did all of this. Notice that it has one, uh, one hole up here. Okay. So hold on. We're good. Okay. So then I want to bring your attention to this picture. We'll come back to it on sheet number. Wait a minute. Oh, that's sheet number two. Probably if I follow that, I bet you that'd probably be a lot less scary. Yep, it's a whole lot less scary. So I'll, I'll, I'll embarrass myself some more because, oh no, I hit the wrong button, sorry. Here we go. Um, I mean, why not? So sheet number one, where we got number 10 from here, and it was 20, 23, and 28, right? But it goes one, two, three, and four holes right there with the numbers, but Again, kudos to them with the instructions, very detailed if you actually follow them. And we go now onto board number two, and we go to that one. Oh, hey, looky there, there's number 10. So we're golden. So again, bracing it from the back. There we go. And 20 accidentally popped out, but we can kind of, there we go. Well, sort of, you get the idea. Disaster averted, never mind. So we need to mirror this one, right? Notice it says mirror, meaning from the inside. So if we have that one done, the other one has to go the other way. All right. Okay. So that means rubber band in.
There we go. And the fourth, number five. I had too much of the rubber band in there, it pushed it out. Blarg. Do that again. Oops, too far. So have any of you guys uh, made any of these U-Gear models before? Obviously this being my first. Curious. And apparently there was a Kickstarter for these some number of years ago or something. I was unaware. I, uh, I did use the long edge of the rubber band. Thank you very much. Okay. There we go. So we have two mirrored, like so. There we go. A little tabs on the insides there. We have the two little holes up there. Now we're cooking with gas. Here we go. Whew. All right. So now we need a lot of these little pieces on that board as well. Here we go. So that's going to be a lot of those. So what are we looking at? We're looking at, we're going to have to sand some of these and it looks like uh, check the movement on some of these as well. So we need 11. Well, oh yeah, Durr, okay. So we need 12. 12 is the big piece right here, right there. So there's 12, done. Okay, so we'll set those two aside for a moment. So 12 looks like there, okay. So we, all, so we have 12, we need 11, 13, and 14. So 11, 13, and 14, right there. Yeah, Matt, that actually was the original uh, um, idea for the uh, initial inspiration. Um, eventually, I am going to do that locomotive. If you guys enjoy this, then I'm going to build up that locomotive on camera as well at some point. Oh, I suppose we could just pop all of that out and make this a whole lot easier. Pop these out. <clears throat> okay. So that's 11, 13, and 14. And then it shows sand. Uh, it looks like number 13. So... Break out the handy dandy little sandpaper that it has here. I'm going to do this over the trash can though. So. I appreciate it, Matt. Thank you. Do I think this would be better than the accordion? Can I answer that when I'm done, Giraffe? Um, yeah, I, I could see using this for any game with more than just a couple decks of cards, honestly. Giraffe. No, I don't want to do this just here to laugh at you. I appreciate it. All right. So that is super smooth now. So happy with that. Um, and then that one with the little gear symbol, what was that one? That was uh, with the wax. Oh, no, just wax it. Okay. So it looks like we're going to be waxing the inside of both of those two pieces. Or we could just wax the actual shaft of the T piece, which is what I'm going to do. Wiggling it around. 
90s club music reference for those. Uh... Anyway, moving on. So 14. So make sure, oh, it should be upside down. This is showing like so. So notice right here. Right there, it shows that that is upside down, right? Just like that. So make sure that that is that direction. So we will do so. Okay. We have done so. Okay. So now, sitting on it. So 14, then 13. Oh, there we go. It's a little key lock kind of thing. So from what I'm seeing, then that means we're going to need to wax actually the outside of this. So that's what we're doing. All right. So we have that. Oops. Like so. And then this. We should here. Okay. We have waxed there and there we go. There we go. Moves very smoothly. All right, cool. So that is all of that. And <gasps> that's all right. We got this one. I am not afeard anymore. So we got that. We'll set that aside for a moment. Plus, I'm actually tying it around something now, so not a problem, right? <laughs> okay. So around, not that it matters, but around this. Okay. And since I tied a knot that I couldn't get out earlier on one of these, I'm actually using that piece so that I'm not wasting as much. <clears throat> the only reason this one I'm struggling is because I'm using that piece, so... There we go. Oh. Your boy's an idiot. Well, we'll have to see, Ben. Not, not that I'm questioning you, mind you, but, uh, oh, right. Okay. I see that now. I see what I was doing wrong. Not tying around it per se. See if, uh, if this one's better than your experience with it. Either way, thanks for hanging out. So how many of y'all are at work today? And, uh, really? Do I keep screwing this up? I think I do.
I lied. Not going to do that one. There we go. There. Voila. Finally. But didn't struggle as bad this time. So there we go. So we need to cut that. Uh, it only shows one. It doesn't show two. It doesn't show it two times on this guy. So we got that. We'll cut the end a little bit. What did I do with the pliers? There we go. Okay, so we have this one. So now we need 15, or 15, 15, and 16, which would be 15, 15, and 16. Yeah, I'm impressed with the, I don't mean to jinx myself, but I'm impressed with the lack of any burrs so far on any of the wood. I'm legitimately surprised by that. Okay. So moving this up, looking at that piece. So we have that there. Let's see, we have, looks like, hook this way and hook that way. And then the rubber band will go around those two ends. Looking at how this is going to continue on, we're going to need 17 here shortly, so we might as well pop that out as well. All right. So far, I really haven't needed the wax, in all honesty. Okay, so we have that. Then, we have the two longer ends here for the rubber band. There, like so. Okay. All right, so we have that. We're on to page nine. So, which now brings us back to the piece that we had earlier here, which shows that this bad boy will pop in Ah, okay, I see it. So this should be facing like that. This should, those two little indentions there should be on either side of that, as you can see. And then the legs go in. So now it's a matter of getting everybody lined up. There we go. We got that in like so. So you can see how that fit in like that. There we go. Okay. And then 17 will go around there and there like so to hold that in place there. Alrighty. Excellent. So,
The only other question I have... Oh, this should have a little bit of give. It's saying right here to make sure, check the mechanical movement of it. So you'll see it's got a little bit of give right there. There you go. No, I didn't bother because I'll be honest, I don't think I need it. Um, the wax is there just in case. I haven't really needed it thus far. So that has good pressure on those. So I'm pretty happy with how that went. Okay. So now that we have that, moment for some tea. And now we need to bring this bad boy back on. Okay, so we have this facing like so. So it looks like this goes, and the tabs are on the outside. So, like this with the rubber band there. Okay, this can go on afterwards. So this should go on to where the hinge part, like there. There we go. So we have the two longer pieces. Get those lined up first. Oh wow, that. And then it will slide in right back here, as you guys can see that. There we go. Boom. So like so. Okay. Okay. So now we'll do the same with the hinge piece or the the little tab out. Do the exact same thing here. <laughs> so I missed it. Um, okay, cool. All right, I will. I will double back and and wax it a little bit. All right. So I missed it. Are most of you guys at work today? First day back from the holiday uh, for Veterans Day here in the states. There we go. Good. That that felt pretty good. So that part is done, and now it says to wax these, the two ends, so we will do so. I'll probably have to pull it back apart a little bit just to be able to get this wedged in. Okay. So from the looks of it, that part is done. So we have, I would argue that this looks just like this. Nice. That'll work. Set that aside now. On to page 10. Here we go. All right.
Ah, all right. So some of you guys working from home. Nice. For those at work, thanks for hanging out. All right, so here we go. Number one, we're looking at, I believe that's, let's see. Oh, we're gonna need a few different sheets. We need all four sheets. So, okay. So we need number 19 for sure. So number 19, there. So again, bracing it from the back for when we pop that out. So there's 19. And it shows, make sure it has the two dots on it. It has the two dots. So we're good to go there. Okay, so we have 19. We need number 18. And number 18 right here, this intricate piece here. Well, it's popped out. Okay, so there, so those are our first two. So looking at this, we're gonna want that on first, so here we go. So we have there, and then we want the wavy part up. Looks pretty straightforward. Oops. So one thing I've noticed that they did, which I think is pretty genius, um, and maybe other ones do this, and I'll show you on this piece right here. You see these little lines? Those are tiny little gaps, so compression gaps, to where they can squeeze in when you're pushing in and then expand, expand back out, to where it makes for a really satisfying, good fit. So there we go. Okay. So there we go. So we're good on that. So now moving over, we need two number nines and two number 20s. Here is one of the number 20s from that one and two number nines from earlier. There. I said 20 and 20, right? Let's see, oh, there it is. It had popped out already. Two tabs. Two tabs. All right, so what do we got here? So we have this facing this way. We want the two tabs on these guys. Well, here. Facing this way, there, easy enough. So you guys enjoying this? Take care, Renji. Oh, that is so satisfying. Nice, there we go. And then the other one facing the right direction. I mean, the fact that you guys are still here tells me you are enjoying it or incredibly bored. Could go either way. So I'm hoping the la or the former, not the latter. Okay, good. So the two insides are there. And now this with the tabs facing up this way, those pop in on this side. Common sense says it's going to be in those three. Yep. Okay. 
Come on. There it goes. And then, do we have anything? At, no, I think we're good. Okay. So now it's just a matter of getting that piece lined up here on the end to make sure that it can, there we go, slide in like so. Bueno. And then again, this piece facing up, so this will go on like so. Ow, fingers. And once you get all of this lined up, it goes in really, really smoothly. It's just a matter of finagling just a little bit. There it goes. <laughs> Happy little tabs. Yeah, the Bob Ross, I, I, you know, I, I, yeah. Uh, Gaetan, uh, yes, we picked this up at Essen, um, and thought this would be a, a fun, something different, uh, stream, something a little bit different instead of taking a day off. I thought I would do this as a bonus stream with you guys. And so, yeah, there you go. Um, Jason says, uh, Matt says, it's actually quite relaxing. Jason, you're making me want to spend money, but yes, it's very enjoyable. Seriously, I think these would be cool gifts. Now, how does it end up? I don't know. I haven't gotten there yet, but we will find out here soon enough. So we are done with those two steps. So now down here, we need 21 and 22, which that's going to be tab number three. And that is going to be on three and four. So that is one and two. We'll move those over there. Three and four. Let's see. I think it's mostly on um, this guy, I think. So what do we got? We got two number nines, so number nine here. So we're gonna need those. It's important to not rush on that because you don't wanna force it out, right? Uh, 21 and 22 now. So 22, again. Bracing it behind, uh, especially with these little tabs. There we go. You gotta kinda pop that. There we go. There. Oh, wow. That. Okay, there's 22. And now we need 21. Oop, back over there. Ah. So, 21, right here. Wow, comes out really easy. Very pleasantly surprised at how easily that's coming out. So we're basically doing this, this guy again. So, there we go, put that aside. So this one here we got the three tabs, make sure that that's good. We have it to where it's concave. Putting this on. <laughs> Sorry, Gaetan. The good news though, is you can pick these up at uh, online. Um, I would ask that you guys use the link down below that obviously helps us. Not monetarily or anything like that. We're like, this isn't sponsored, we, nothing like that. It's just, um, Getting the getting the traffic from from our video helps. That's all. So, all right. So that's good. So happy with that. Then again, having it like that, we have the nines here with them up. Yeah, the one that caught my eye the most was the locomotive. Um, that thing looked amazing. And I really, really want to do that. 
I've always enjoyed putting together models and the fact that there's no glue on this makes me happy. All right. So then we have tabs number three. Uh, what did I do with them? Shoot. Did I get those yet? Oh, I don't think I have. Number 23 is number three and number three. There we go. Oh, come on. There we go. So we need both of those now. So doing the exact same thing. Again, making sure the threes are facing up. By the way, if you guys, uh, if, you, if you look at the, uh, the picture at the end of the instructions online, it's, uh, you know, unnamed Cthulhu card game or something like that. It, I thought that was pretty funny um, that the cards they were using uh, in the video and in the pictures and stuff. So not, my real, not really my cup of tea, but oh, that went on really easy. There we go. And then the three up again, like so. Happy little tabs. So we're going to be doing something else new next month. Uh, I'm not going to not going to mention it yet until we get it confirmed. But uh, something. Uh, a little bit different than nobody else is doing, but I think that it'll be exciting to all the viewers. So it's a terrible little teaser, but it is what it is. There we go. So we have that one done now too. Moving on to the next page. And oh wait, now we have 24 and 25 and 26s, which are tabs number four, or uh, yeah, the four tabs, you know, the four. Oh, yes, right there. So number 25, right here, right? 25, yeah. Again, bracing it from, wow, don't barely even need to. Well, all righty. So that's done. There, we need 24 and 226s. Twenty-four. And the twenty-sixes are going to be looking at this. I think those. Yep. No, uh, wait, no. Those are not them. Those are coming up here in a little bit, but 26s should be there. Not on that P. Oh, there they are. Sorry. 26s. There we go. No, not a fashion show. It's board games. Uh, it will be legitimately doing playthroughs, but they're a particular board game. So, not time master class. Oh, you guys are monsters. Funny, don't get me wrong, but monsters. All right, so we have this one here, big slot, little slot, and might as well put this on first since it's flat and can push into the table. There, finally figured that out the third time. Okay, and doing the same again. There. There we go. So there's the 26s into 25, then 24. So we have kind of the the beveled edge there, and then the big scoop down at the bottom, and number four tab, so we're good. K 
Can't believe how much I struggle with that knot. Oof. Didn't nearly as much the next time, though, did I? Hmm. So we learn. All right, so those are done now. So now we're moving on here to number 27 with the U Gears logo on it. 27. There we go. Oh, all right, well, that, that piece should be easy enough to figure out what piece it is. So now, notice that the U Gears here is facing upwards. So we want it facing upwards as well. Okay, so this actually just kind of slides in. This one's a bit different. Hmm, a moment. There we go, okay, like this. Just had to figure it out. There we go. To where that's, oops. It'll be kind of cattywampus until we get the sides on, and that'll help us. So you can see now that that's going to mount up with these guys, which are the 28s. The 228s look like that with the fours on them. So, okay. So the slot will go in with the U Gears piece on right there. Okay. So all that is lining up really well so far. And this one, not only do you have to line that piece up here, but you also got to line that piece in. So getting the angle of the dangle. There we go. And like so. There we go. There we go. Boom. Good. And then again with the four piece facing upwards, going on like so. Wow, that went on really easy too, but super firm, but really easy. There we go. Voila. So now we are on to the 29s in the 29s, 29 and 30. So 29s are these guys, the two little wings right here. Again, bracing from the behind. Feel like Chef John. I don't have the sing song voice he does though. I think he was an opera singer. All right, so that's 29, and then we need the 30s. Mm. Looking for 30. Got him. The 30s are these two. There we go. Start with the tabs. All right, cool. Oh, Matt did the locomotive. All right. There's no need to tease me. Just saying you could be nice. Hmm. 
All right, so moving on here, what do we got? We have facing this way here and the 30. Looks like a little mustache. Goes in like so. There. All right. I believe these are the final two pages coming up. A lot of pieces left. Hey, hey, hey. Whew. All right. <clears throat> we are not afeard. All right, 32. That piece that popped out earlier, 32. There we go. Then we need 31 as well. Thirty-one. There we go. Okay, so looking Okay. So we have that. And then the two end parts, it kind of waves down into the middle. So there and there and okay. So it's four pieces simultaneously have to go in. There we go. Like so. Okay. Same. Second verse, same as, wow. That fit really well. All right. There we go. And then in the middle, we have here, there, which goes, well, big slot, little slot. That's pretty obvious. There we go. Notice I haven't needed that at all. That's cool. Okay. So then we need, uh, with that same piece, we need two 33s and two 34s. Those are at the end of, there they are, 33 and 34s, So now, it shows that we should be waxing the two long tabs here, so we shall do so. Yep, there's a little counter in the box, this guy, uh, Krasimir, that guy, yep. Don't worry, Matt, I'm not forgetting, I promise. Be vacuuming up wax in here for a month. All right, so that's done. So. so then these little guys go to the end. I need a body bag. There you go. Oh, well, that fit. That fits nicely. I mean, it all does, right? I feel like it kind of goes without saying at this point. Yet, here I am saying it still. Hmm. And good on that end. Okay. So we got those. Now we need the two little birdhouse looking pieces. And the little arms go to the top part 
as you can see, it holds, oop, there you go. There we go. Okay, done. So we're good there. Now here, It has it flipped over and it shows the wax them again. They're serious about the wax on this one. I assume this is the lid, so that makes sense. You know what? I'm, I am curious. Plus it'll smell nice. Ooh, not gonna lie. Candle that I bought, wax a little bit better. Here we go. Oh, it smells really nice. Balsam. There we go. Okay. Although now it looks like my table has dandruff. So there's that. Uh... So it shows this piece. And then, oh, this goes into it. Oh, like so. We're going to have to loosen the sides a little. There we go. Flex just a hair. Come on. There we go. Boom. And then... Tighten it back up. Uh, fingertips are actually really okay. Not le it, I, I haven't had to work at this as bad as I thought. There we go. Ooh, smooth motion. Yay. Okay. Cool. All right. This looks intense coming up, this part. But we're not there yet. So now we are on to D, so we need 28. Oh. oh, it had us pulling the sides off and then putting them back. Oh, done. There's 28. Yeah. These. Done. Okay. Awesome. Whew. Okay. So here we go. Pay attention. It goes one, two, three, four. There's one. There's two. Oh, that's nice. There's three. I was wondering how all this was going to come together. And there's four. So to show you guys what I'm looking at, like this, you get the idea. But we're getting ahead of ourselves a little. So, all right. So we are done with that page. All right, I think we're, yeah, we're done after this, y'all. Here we go, final, we are in the home stretch. Okay, has the door open. So we need 35, 35, 36. So we'll do one side at a time. Okay, 35, 35, 36. 35. 35. Oh, hell, we're going to need four, so might as well just pop them out, right? Two for each side. There we go. So we'll set those two aside for now. Then we need 
136. So one for each side here. So what I'm learning is if you meet resistance like I am on this, go to the other end and it tends to pop out easy and you've already loosened the other end and it just, whoop, so there we go. Okay, so now what we are doing, I will see how well this works putting it on its side for you guys. I don't know if this is a, I don't know if that's going to work. I don't think it is. Sorry, guys. You're going to have to look at it top down. Put these back together. Yeah. I'm going to have to do this there. Okay. So we're doing this. So, yes, wax, I hear you. I know. I know. Um, so we're just going to wax all of the little tabs here. other side. Happy little tabs. Waxed little tabs. I don't have the afro though, so it doesn't work quite as well. Hey, don't forget, if you guys are liking this, don't forget to like, subscribe down below, consider supporting the show over on pledgehc.com. We are very, very close to getting a new camera with your guys' support. Okay. So it should be with the gentle curve on those three like so. Oh, wow. That went on. Stupid. Stupid easy. So then two curves to the left, one to the right, like that. We'll go onto those four tabs. Wow, that really goes on really easy. And top tab or top curve there. Boom, done. Yep. I'm not going to show you guys this because the other side makes it unstable. If I, oh, getting ahead of myself over here. 37, 38, 39 to hold those in place. That makes sense. 37. So I'm going to go ahead and pop both of these out because, again, one for each side, right? But I'm going to make sure that I keep them. Oh, you, you know what? You won't even have to keep them numbered because look at the number of tabs. There's one little hole there. There's two for the 38. I assume three for the 39. 38. This is uh, the attention detail here is really nice. Come on. There we go. And hey, that one's done. Whoop. 39 with three tabs and 40 with four tabs. Yeah, really impressive attention to detail. Like if you guys have some youngish kids, this is something that I bet you could do with them. That would be really, really cool. You know, Christmas present type thing, whatever. Uh, this one's done as well because these are, notice these are spares right here. So that is done as well. Cool. One and one. Two and two. Three and three. And four and four. Okay. So the one is at the bottom, and it, it shows here the exclamation. Oh, you guys can't see that. It shows the exclamation points. So the four is on the top right there. It shows the one is at the bottom, and then obviously from there. So, and the opening, the one tab goes by the one tab, so by the front. 
So like so. And once I get them all in and seated, I'm actually going to go one, then four here to brace the top part of these. Oops. Ah, come on. There we go. Got that one started there and there. There we go. Then once they're all started, then I will uh, apply some pressure to get them all seated. And going back down towards the bottom on two. And three. All right, I misspoke. Now that all those are done, and so you guys can see that, there you go, okay. Uh, I'm actually gonna go ahead and do the other side and then press them together when they're all in together. Because as you can see, this side's kinda, as I mentioned earlier, a little cattywampus. So until all these are seated, sat, seated. Uh, there we go, we need to wax this side. I mean, I do have my faux hawk for a reason, not gonna lie. Plus, I like it, and I'm young enough that I can still pull it off, or at least I look young enough to pull it off. How's that? At least in my own mind, I am. So go with it, you don't need to correct me. <laughs> We're waxing all the tabs on this to make sure that it slides as smoothly as possible. Okay. So again, you want the uh, curve going towards the back of this. Wow, I just went on with zero resistance just about. But that's all right, because the braces will hold it on. Same with that one, and again, the curve to the back, there we go. So then starting at the bottom one, the one making sure the tab is to the front. Okay, so that's, that's good. Then we'll go back up to the top with the four going into, hey James. By the way, mm. come on, which does it start in the front or start in the back? Come on, there we go. The answer is the back. There we go. Going back down to the two. And the three. Okay. So now that those are down and on, before we do anything else, we're gonna take it and then we're gonna kinda press it. Um, so I'm pressing on the ones, then the twos, the threes, and I'm pressing, pressing awfully firmly because I want to make sure that this is as stable as possible. All right. So now that I can show that, there we go. Okay. All right. Next page, here we go. Number 14. So, it shows there. 
here. Raise that. There we go. And it shuts like so. Oh, there. Like that. Okay. So then. So the little keyway thing kind of, there we go, there. And then you turn it a little bit and it'll raise up like so. Then Ew, a moment. Oh, that actually, oh, okay. So for storage or for transport, if you will, the little brace down here at the bottom. The guys that gave me so much trouble. So that tucks under and there you go. So we have completed. So now let's go ahead, zoom out just a hair. Don't mind the dandruff, i.e. the wax all over the table. So now, here we go. So we have that. So first things first, you fold out the brace from the back. We, there, unlock it, there, and then, pretty happy with that. Yeah. No, that doesn't, that just stays out front like so, but you guys can see, there you go. And then close this back up, it moves very easily. It's very, so Ben was talking that it wasn't very stable. I, I mean, it does shift a little as you can see here, right? But overall, I mean, you don't have to be super gentle with it. There we go. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with this. I think you'll see it on a stream. So, yeah, it's for decks of cards. So, um, and I'm trying to think, you guys will probably know better than I, the, um, so just about two hours to put that together. It says an hour to two hours. That seemed pretty reasonable. Um, I don't know how many milestones, I can't remember there are. Yeah, there's probably more than there are here, but you could you could separate them in, in different ones or whatever, but, but yeah. It's, I mean, show the height wise on that. So there's that, and I'll try and do this here with it open like this. I'm not worried about it falling apart. It's not gonna I just, there you go. So this will be, this is kind of from the front view, if you will, but the top will lay down like that. There you go. So then here we go. So, and again, you have the little brace in the back back there. So it doesn't tip like it's not going to, I'm, I'm hitting it pretty hard and it's not going to tip over. But yeah, it looks really nice. I'm really happy with that. Show it from the back. So there you go. That's what it is when it's put together and then when it slides. And then when it's all there. And that's what it looks like there, what it looks like from the bottom, complete, upside down the back. So yeah, turn the little thing that pops up there and then whoop, becomes your card holder. Oh, yeah, it will tip <laughs> if you don't put the brace back there, but that's why that's there and now, and now it can't tip. There we go. Oh yeah, and the spare parts. I mean, there's a number of them and fine. I will do the counter thingy real quick, fine. There we go. All right. 
There we go. Wow, this table's a mess. Things aren't numbered. It's throwing me off. All right. So we need to wax the two center pieces, it looks like. Okay. So what do you guys think of that? Well, you know what? Hold that for when I'm done with this here. Take me a minute and then we'll... Okay. Done. All right. So what do we got here? Uh... Okay, so this is one, that's two. I see that now. So we have that. This goes sideways like so. Okay. There. It looks like... The outsides of these get waxed. Da, da, da. Okay. So then, Looking at the numbers, sorry. Zero was kind of up. Come on. Oh no, oh no. Nope, nope, we're fine. Okay. I think, maybe. Oh, did I push that too far? I think I did. Aha. Okay, the, the counter, um, oops, the counter instructions are not nearly as good as the regular instructions. Oh, or. Or that's actually supposed to go all the way down. Yep. The label, it's upside down here. There. So we're good. There we go. Okay. Oh, good Lord. That's a tight fit. Okay. There. And then this goes on. There we go. That's so much easier. So now that we have that, this guy goes on smushes down like so then the next ring and again getting the numbers I don't think it matters there and then the cap goes on there we go there we go and now There we go. Cool. There we go. Yep. There we go. And as you can see, it's all built up. So there we go. All right. Thus ends 
the U Gears card holder. All right, so yeah, I am pleasantly surprised. Um, there you go. Uh, Wicked Loki says, "Well, this made for some super easy shopping for long distance friends. Easy shipping and boom, order place for the holiday. Thanks for taking the time to show this off. Cannot believe how easy all that seemed. And yeah, I mean, for scale." There you go, right? That's, yep, there we go. So there you go, right? To show you. Um, I'm trying to think, I don't have, oh, you know what I can do for you guys? Real quick, just a little context for scale. So why don't we do this? Let me grab some of the cards out of Formosa T. I apologize I didn't uh, think about this. I mean, it is a card holder. After all, probably ought to have cards ready to hold. So, some of the... Uh, oh. There we go. Okay. So, obviously, um, I, I, these are normal size cards, I feel like. Um... Can you see, yeah, you can see how much of a gap there is for sleeve cards. I think you would be able to. Um, so, right, and that's all the way back. So, and to give, to show how this looks. Again, these are pushed all the way back. I'll try and get that somewhat centered. So there you go, right? And then, so that's all the way back. And these are not all the way back. So it gives you an idea, but there's, right? But you still can see it plenty fine. And it's easy to grab, like, a card down here without messing up all those. I'd say it's really good for what it is. It's a really good little card holder. I mean, the the cards aren't, you know, they're, I mean, it's, it's on unfinished wood in a sense, so you do have to keep that in mind. So probably if you're gonna use this, maybe you sleeve them. But it seems like uh, it'll be good sleeve, uh, for sleeve cards and everything else, so yeah. There you go. So the U-Gears, Take that down now, I guess. But yeah, so the, the U-Gears uh, card holder. So big thank you to the folks over at U-Gears for, for giving that um, so that we could show it to you guys today. There you go. That's how it looks. A big thank you to all of y'all that hung out uh, on this Tuesday afternoon with me. Um, hopefully you enjoyed it. Made your day go by a little quicker, but also possibly uh, some Christmas gifts or whatever. You get the idea, some gifts. And uh, you get a chuckle out of my lack of being able to tie knots. So there's that. I'm here for you. Remember that. So that said, uh, be here for me. Um, like and subscribe down below. Uh, that would definitely be appreciated. Consider supporting the show over on pledgehc.com. We are seven away. Seven patrons away from getting a additional camera that is going to change the way we stream things in a good way, I think. Uh, very excited. Plus, you get access to the Slack channel, teaching notes, etc., etc., stuff like that. So, yeah. Um, yeah, I think that went really, really well. I think it was less intimidating than I thought it was going to be. I think it, uh, the, the instructions were crystal clear, except for the not tying part. They just assume that, you know, as a Marine, you would know how to tie a knot. Uh, but other than that, really happy with the quality of it. Um, you're going to see it on streams that have cards that make sense, right? Uh, I'm not going to shoehorn it on the streams for the simple fact that real estate on the stream, space-wise. Uh, but otherwise, if we can use it, we'll do so, so that you guys can actually see it in use. Uh, and, and hopefully it, it does a pretty good job of... of uh, Saving table space as well as just cool, just pretty, right? I think it looks good. So there we go. Um, yeah, there you go. Um, 
Oh, there you go. A Richard asks how many cards can fit into each section. And Kresimir says uh, 20 to 25 sleeved per section. And there are how many? Like 12? One, two, three. Yeah, there's 12 sections. So there you go. Cool. There we go. All right. Pretty happy with that. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I appreciate you guys hanging out with me. Uh, I'm going to call it a day at this point. I will be back tomorrow at noon for Fish Farewell Forever, a solo game that has 30 cards in. It's kind of a deck deconstruction game, and the theme on it is next level, literally and figuratively. It's pretty awesome. So hopefully you guys join me tomorrow uh, at noon. Uh, Eastern. Otherwise, I'm Edward. You guys have a wonderful rest of your Tuesday. Thanks for hanging out. Like, subscribe, pledgehc.com, all that stuff. Take care, everybody. Bye.